A lot of these things that I sort of find, they're sort of new, but they're vintage new. So what we try to do is just give it some age as though it's actually living in somebody's kitchen. I'm using um, an acrylic ink mixed with alcohol to basically take down some of the tone of the uh, garment. You know, and the same thing with the jeans as well. It's because these are all new jeans. So we basically will dip them in an orange dye to kill the blue because it's the complementary color of the blue. But now I'm going back in, as you can see, the turn up are very orange. So I'm going back in with some white just to sort of bring it back to what it should be. Um, and I'm doing the same thing on the, on the shoes as well. You know, like just taking down the edge of that with, because this was very, very white. So it was just, it was a little too much on stage. And the clothes just need to look like they're farm, you know, they're farmers and ranchers. So it's basically just to sort of make it look as though these people are real. What we looked at for Starbuck was sort of Marlon Brando and the wild ones. Rather than keeping him in sort of the, uh, the cowboy look, we really wanted him to be an outsider, so he's in black jeans, which actually that's one of those things that we we adapted because they really didn't have black Levi's. It would have been a really dark wash blue, but in order to sort of heighten him on stage so that you can follow him wherever he is, we put him in black. So we decided that uh, Maria was sort of, we were sort of saying that she was a war widow. So basically she was, she still has her duties that she has to perform at home. So that was sort of why we put her in something like this. But then for the party, we sort of were thinking, oh, well, she's out to get a man. So that was one of the reasons why we were, you know, sort of giving her something that was a little more vibrant. This kind of a dress as well has to balance with what the leading lady is in. Uh, but I wanted to show you this thing. This is one of those great finds that it's it's a 1940s and or probably late 40s purse that was made from Paul Mall wrappers, cigarette mm -hmm. packages. But these things were very, very prominent in the time, certainly during the war, because they didn't have a lot of raw materials. So this is the kind of thing that I've found and just think that's a great little detail to put into the show that actually sort of brings it back to where it should be.